What's up guys, welcome back to another video. So in today's video we're going to be reviewing the top 5 trucks in Greenville. So, uh, right here we have number 5, which is the 2002 Ford Ranger, priced at 2650 and maxed out at 103 miles per hour. So, you have your blinker, right there. Good, is it working? Oh, it was working. Okay, there we go. Right there, you have your hazards. You have your horn. Headlights, and then taillights, and brake lights. Let's rev it up. Sounds nice. So, the reason I put this at number 5 is because it's pretty nice for an older truck, and it's priced really well. So, if you want an older truck priced below 3000 or below 5000 2650 dollars for this truck's not bad so that's why i included it at number five it also does some good handling too so if we get on the road here you can switch lanes like this go side to side without going on the grass or going into oncoming lanes may hit the curb but overall the handling is good you can avoid crashes like that so that's some good Break in two, somewhat. Takes a little bit, but I mean, want to stop quick? You can always hit the park and break like that, like anyone does. Oh, who's a chip? All right, let's get to the fourth car. All right, at number four we have the 2019 Chevy Silverado LT 1500, priced at 39,200 and maxed at 133 miles per hour. So the reason I put this at number four is because me it doesn't really sound like a truck if we rev it up sounds like one of the cars in game but i mean it has a nice um and it's nice it's nicely modeled so you have your blinker right here brake lights headlights lights, horn and i showed you what it sounded like before but we'll just do it again yeah, there's something about it, I don't know. To me, it doesn't really sound like a pickup truck like that Ford Ranger did, but it's fine. But the handling's not bad. All these pickup trucks, for the most part, have good handling. And you're not gonna hit anything unless you're doing what I'm doing wrong. But hey, not bad. Oh, yo. <laughs> oh, it can flip back to its uh, wheels. You good too. At least has the mirror blinker as well right here. Mirror blinker is pretty good. Since most cars don't have it. I mean, it's not really a needed uh, feature, but realistic to have. But let's get on to the third car. Alright, third truck's going to be the 2011 Toyota Tacoma. Priced at 17500 and maxed at 112 So the reason this is number three is because of the startup sound. Sounds like the exact Toyota uh, Tacoma. That sounds like the exact Toyota Tacoma. So, you have your blinker. Right here, brake lights. Headlights, or taillights, then your headlights. Horn. Now if we rev it. That sounds nice. I'm just gonna get in again and show you guys the startup sound. Sounds nice. Alright. Get let's go for a test drive. Get your handle in here. One of the better handling trucks. For the most part, without crashing, you don't hit anything. That gets people right out of the way quick. Let's go to the farm. Made it though for the most part. Now this truck is fairly new. I don't know, I think it was uh, released one or two months ago. Pretty recent though, it was added this year. But pretty nicely modeled and it sounds like the to uh, Toyota Tacoma, which is pretty nice. Let's get on to the second car. 
or truck. I don't know why I keep saying car. All right, I said second car, thinking because it's second up, but this is the fourth uh, truck that we're doing. So we have the 2016 Toyota Tacoma DRD off-road, priced at 28,500 and maxed out at 118 miles per hour. So listen, this startup sound like the other Toyota Tacoma. Sounds exactly like it too. If your blinker. Horn, and lights, the lights, get a little bit of revving. Sounds like the other Toyota Tacoma. So, like I said, the other Toyota Tacoma, this is why it's high up in the list, because it sounds exactly like the Toyota Tacoma uh, in real life, and modeled pretty nice, like every other truck. But once, once we get on the main road, I can show you guys how it handles so you don't have like those white headlights you have like like a tint of bluish to it like it's no, I don't I won't I won't say it's neon what is it it's like it's called like Exion or something I don't X neon I don't know how to say it it's like X E N E O N or something I don't even know don't question me I'm sure most of you guys know what I'm talking about but you can tell like those that neon type headlight like cop cars have and stuff but let's get on to our final truck all right final truck it's gonna be the 2015 dodge ram 1500 priced at 23,750 and maxed out at 128 miles per hour so listen to the startup very nice have your blinker. Brake lights. Headlights and then your tail lights. Hazard lights. It was the blinkers of course. And if you rev it up. This truck sounds like a pickup truck. Unlike the uh, Chevy Silverado we reviewed earlier. This one does. All right, let's take it on for a spin. I love driving this truck. I drove it in GVRP uh, a couple weeks ago. Some people don't even know half these cars exist until I show them up uh, off in this video in a couple uh, videos. If you watch my other two uh, videos, you'll see that some of the cars uh, you guys didn't even know were in game until I brought them back to life, basically. But as you can see, let's do a little bit of handling. Lower the speed a little bit. We haven't went out of uh, this side of the road yet, almost. But damn, this truck is nice. You have the nice rims. If I stop. So you have like the little tire right here, like the tire uh, decal on the side. I don't really see much cars having it, but majority do. But I think it's going to wrap up the video. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys like, subscribe. Make sure you guys turn on post notifications. Make sure you guys go follow my social media in the description. Also, go follow my Twitch. Uh, I've been uh, streaming a lot more on there. Um, I got my Twitch back up and running. You guys should go follow that. Uh, I'll be streaming random, so make sure you turn on post notifications on that. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Two Home Depot don't know what to get at all. Spent all night getting over here, geez a long haul. Still hanging around, yeah, don't know what to get. Yet again, I'm just trying to be on a budget, yeah. On budget, on budget, on budget.